about Virginia and Dancing and the Need Theory. Virginia and Dancing was born on November 30, 1897. She is a nurse, or she was a nurse, a theorist, and the author for a Need Theory. And she also defined the widely accepted definition of nursing, which will be defined later. Then she is known as the first lady of nursing, the nightingale of modern nursing, the modern day mother of nursing, and the 20th century Florence Nightingale. She was born in Kankar City, Missouri, in 1897. As Elia said, she was the fifth of the eight children of her parents. She was named after the state which her mother longed for, which is Virginia. At age four, she returned to Virginia and began her schooling. And at a school owned by her grandfather. In 1921, she received a diploma in nursing from the Army School of Nursing at Water Reed Hospital, Washington, D.C. In 1923, she started teaching nursing at the North Fork Protestant Hospital in Virginia. In 1929, she entered Teachers College at Columbia University for a bachelor's degree in 1932 and took a master's degree in 1930. The nursing theory was developed by Virginia and Dancing. To define the unique focus of nursing practice, the theory focuses on the importance of increasing the patient's independence to hasten their progress in the hospital. Anderson's theory emphasizes on the basic human needs and how nurses can assist in meeting those needs. The assumptions of Virginia Anderson's needs theory are four in number. Number one, it states that nurses care for patients until they can care for themselves once again. The second one states that patients desire to return to health. Why the third one states that nurses are willing to serve and that nurses will devote themselves to the patients day and night. Then the fourth one states that Anderson believes also that the mind and body are inseparable and are interrelated. Okay, so now we'll be talking about the four meta paradigm of the theory. That is the individual or person, the environment, the nursing, and health. So starting with the individual. Anderson states that individuals have basic health needs that are components of health and require assistance to achieve health and independence. According to Virginia Anderson, an individual achieves wholeness by maintaining physiological and emotional balance. She defines a, an individual as someone who needs nursing care, but do not limit nursing to illness care. Continuation to the formative paradigm of Virginia Anderson, um, Virginia Anderson stated that maintaining a supportive environment conducive for health is one of the elements for her 14 activities for client assistance. She also stated to the theory that supports the tax of the private and the public health, health sector or agencies in keeping the environment healthy. She believes that society wants and expects the nurse service of acting for individuals who are unable to function independently. So we'll be defining health according to Virginia Anderson. Although she did not ex explicitly define health, she says health is equated to independence or ability to perform activities without any aid in the 14 components of basic human needs. Okay guys, Virginia Anderson defined nursing as the unique function of the nurse is to assist the individual sick or well in the performance of those activities contributing to health or its recovery that he would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength, will or knowledge. And to do this in such a way to, as to help him gain independence as rapidly as possible. The nurse's goal is to make the patient complete, whole or independent. In turn, the nurse collaborates with the physician's therapeutic. So now we'll be talking about the 14 components of the need theory, which she has for by, by Virginia Anderson. 
One is the physiological, the psychological, the spiritual, and the social needs. So under the physiological, we have breathe normally, which is number one, eat and drink adequately, eliminate body waste, move and maintain desirable postures, sleep and rest, select suitable clothes, dress or undress, then maintain body temperature within normal range by adjusting clothing and modifying environment. Keep the body well clean and well groomed and protect the integumate. Avoid dangers in the environment and avoid injuring others. So for the psychological aspect of communication and learning, which is number 10 and 11, which says to be communicate with others in expressing emotions, needs, fears, and opinions. Learn or discover or satisfy the curiosity that leads to normal development and health and health and use the available health facilities so for spiritual or moral um, need we have, which is the number 13 or so then we worship according to one's faith then under sociological need you walk in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment. Then the last one, which is the 14, number 14, play or participate in various forms of recreation. The application of the needs theory, no. Anderson's need theory can be applied to nursing practice as a way for nurses to set goals based on Anderson's 14 components. Meeting the goal of achieving the 14 needs of the client can be a great basis to further improve one's performance towards nursing care. In nursing research, each of our 14 fundamental components can serve as a basis for research, although the statements were not written in a testable terms.